<laughs> but yeah, we can make Izumo a small work. Don't worry. See, it's a hard match making with the super ships in the game and everything, but we should be fine. <laughs> oh, chat! Chat! It happened! It happened! Chat, it happened! I got accepted in the partner thingy on my second team. I'm not. I got. I got my YouTube partner for the second channel. It's officially happened just now. Nice. Chat. It happened. Yay! I'm now a YouTube partner on my second channel as well. That's nice. Great. Yay! <laughs> I just got a message. That's great. That's fantastic news. <coughs> Third channel when? No, it's not gonna happen in a while. It's now we're gonna stick with two for now. One for all the warships, the second one for all the rest. But oh, that's amazing. Like that's that's like really amazing use for me. Nice. Time to earn those 50, 60 cents per video. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Actually, if you think about it, there would be like one beer per video, and that's actually an amazing video uh, value. <coughs> actually, it's like a, if you if you ever counted like this in Germany that way, that's amazing. Turning the ad revenue to be of hunt, I like it, yeah. <laughs> oh. I mean, remember chat, we had one beer tasting stream, remember? There needs to be plenty more. <laughs> oh. Wasn't that bad actually, the beer tasting stream, I like that. It was actually a fun stream, back in the day. <laughs> So yeah, back to the topic of his how to play Izumo. Long range ship. Look at that dispersion. You will see what I mean. How consistent it is. For 29 cents you can get Tormbroy. Uh That's true, but honestly, from all the cheap ass beers, Tormbroy is by far the worst I've... Tormbroy is literally the most disgusting beer I've drink, drank in my life. Entire life. I'm not joking. There's a lot of beers that cost the same from different discounters and they are at least taste like a beer, but Tormbroy is absolutely disgusting. I don't know what they put in there, but it has nothing to do with beer. I'm not joking. Tormbroy, if you ever want to taste the most awful German beer, in my opinion, it's Tormbroy. At least, in my opinion, it feels the worst. Even something like Perlenbachner or something tastes way better, and that's also pretty questionable. Tombroy unboxing stream? No, 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 I'm not gonna do Tombroy. I mean, we could, <coughs> we could for fun and giggles, do a beer tasting stream of the top 10 cheapest beers in Germany one day. I wouldn't mind either. It would be kind of a torture, I guess, but... <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. But... I don't think the Vami's gonna live much longer. Oh, he's slow. He's really slow, though. Too much lead. <coughs> Adelskrone, oh. 
I can't. I think I've tasted that already, but I can't remember. <laughs> oh no. By the way, don't be really disappointed by Izumo right now. We have like not really. Let's say like this, we don't really get the best shots right now because we're shooting heavily armored targets that are most of the time angled against us. Premium pills. Oh yeah, that's something you notice as well. One tip when it comes to alcohol. Most of the time when it says like premium something, it's, it's the opposite. Everything that's really good usually doesn't write it's good. Because you will notice it's good. But everything that's terrible usually writes like stuff like premium on it or something. <laughs> to make it sound better, but it's not at all. Oh, Karun. You can trust me. <laughs> you can trust me on that one. If something says premium, it's not. Usually. There are some exceptions, but yeah. He's dead, I think. You need to watch out, they so used though. Now, weapon map awareness chat. Let's check the mini map together. There is a Tashkent, which has a, just has been spotted. There is a Soyuz MB. <coughs> Tashkent will get spanked by Emma Gear in Hannover. They don't need help for it. We're not an imminent torpedo threat. Harland has been spotted. We're missing two DDs. Two Yamagiris. We're not spotted. That means they're not around us or they're covered by islands. Map, map awareness end, that's a check, and now we know roughly what we need to know. Now, see that positioning of uh, Soyuz? Petro's gonna push him and Seattle. There's no need for me to go in here to also always also engage him no sin. So what we're gonna do is <coughs> we're gonna get a split on him so he can't angle against all of us. I'm gonna turn north so I can also support against Austin and Holland if needed and get the cross furnace to use. You're welcome, Dedrick. Now I can't rely that my teammates do what I want, but it just makes sense if we engage him for both sides. He can't be like dealing with both of us at the same time. <coughs> like right now, Petro is engaging him, keeping him busy, and I'm gonna go into his flank. He has to decide who he's going for. He can't go for both of us. And he needs to give uh, to broadside to either me or Petro. <coughs> Look, now he's trying to angle against me, which will bring a better angle on Pedro. And we're good. Oh, Fax is pretty disgusting as well, that's true. Nice, we damage the turret. He has to go broadside to us, and we can go cap as well. There we go, he has decided he's gonna angle against the Pedro, not me. Great. There's the Austin. I had to wait the shot quite long, otherwise the island would have aided. Now we're gonna turn towards the Austin. He does have Fletcher torpedoes after all. And we don't want to get engaged with all the other BBs as well. <clears throat> Austin is now between two battleships. So it's gonna be rather easy for us to quick uh, cut him off. He did torf, that's quite obvious, and we should get him here. Or overpen him. He also used his reload booster. And he has some smoke bots. Okay. Yamagiri. Ooh. That Yamagiri is gonna be pretty annoying for me. I'm gonna damage come because this is gonna be flooding for sure. He's dead. Now 
Now, they have launched a full Yamagiri set and the set of the... What is it called? Of the... What is it called again? Austin. So what we can do right now, and it's the smartest thing is, with our HP pool, not chase the Yamagiri. We're gonna play it safe now and instantly go for C-Cap. There's no point for us chasing Yamagiri alone with that HP pool. Plus there's another one there as well because Marlboro got told by one. <coughs> we wait for our DDs to arrive here as well to help us out. And we're gonna play the cap game now. Hey Mighty Wombat, welcome. And there you can see you can even make any Zuma work. It's a, it's, it's a really decent trip, you just need to know its strengths and weaknesses. Temple, thank you for your follow. Exactly. With no Hydro, it doesn't pay off chasing a DD like this. It's, if I'm full HP, you could think about it, but there are two of them. So, not really the best plan to do it, you know. Gonna damage from that fire because they cannot talk us, even if they wanted to. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna utilize these these um, positions here as kind of a put natural barrier between me and the Torps. I know if he's here that he's gonna be spotted by Hanofa. Or he's going the long route out. And with this I can still support my team. Petro is about to raid at them if he hasn't done so. What did he do earlier? Oh, there we go. There's the raider. And now we can shoot one of them as well. Who shot by me? He did open up the northern ones, so he's gonna stay long, uh, detect a little bit longer. Oh, he got detonated. Well. <clears throat> now, our best bet here is go for Napoli. These TDs are gonna go for the caps or hunt us down. Napoli is squeezed between two of our ships and he has the possibility of might maybe kill one of us. We need to prevent that. We need to get him. We can get decap as well and the game's won. The game is won as soon as Napoli uh, is gone because we have such a cap advantage right now. Yeah, GG. And all I have to do right now is, we can switch to AP actually. <coughs> HE. I'm gonna beach here. Reverse, go into this position so I can leave the cap if needed. But at the same time, block him as long as, well, as, long as I can. There we go. Have a beer with the polar beers. <laughs> oh. Let's drink a bit of water. Take time for it. <clears throat> Yeah, I did the tactical Notza so we can reverse faster. And there we go. As expected, Yamagiri players closing in. <clears throat> He's A, okay. I'll still block B. I'll just block B and get in here so we can't get killed by Torps. We're holding three caps. They're not gonna get them all in time. As long as my people don't get torped now, we are fine. Onnikiru. 
I'll take a heal so we boost our survivability in case we eat two torps. <clears throat> Asteroid, you need to watch out where you do it because the game unfortunately has a lot of places where you can get stuck. So you need to make sure it's the place where, which looks like you wouldn't get stuck, even though it can always happen, of course. Good, there we go. Godlike prediction. Too bad we still miss. That prediction was actually really good. Mm. Now we're gonna leave. I think he's here. Yeah, I told you. I, the moment I saw him be spotted, I knew he was here and not here anymore. <clears throat> That's why I'm gonna leave now because he's dropping and I'm gonna hide behind this island. GG. And there you can see it. Something like an Izumo can work with perfectly fine if you use it to its strengths and to the situation. GG. Only third in the end, but it doesn't matter. We did our we did our part in this game. We really did. Would have loved to do more damage, but you know, two DDs in the end. All you want to do is not die and block the caps. There's no way go and chase them and die in the end for nothing. 